Uh, Lou, we've got a fun episode coming up, but I thought maybe first we might want to talk about something uh, that, that I find personally inspiring. You, you've heard of the Hour of Code, right? Absolutely, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's 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 an it's by code.org. It's this idea of encouraging young people, kindergartner all the way up to high school to get into code. Specifically, they're really trying to encourage STEM, that's science, technology, engineering and math among young women. Well, uh, code.org, yeah, they've already got a popular following. They've decided to get even more popular by taking advantage of the imminent release of a very popular movie out of a very popular franchise. Uh, Patrick, what, what movie might that be? Star Wars. <laughs> it's Star Wars. Yes. Code.org has teamed up with, uh, with Star Wars uh, to, to offer a themed lesson. Now, here's the cool, the cool thing. If you visit Code.org right now, you can take a one hour long coding tutorial from Princess Leia or from Rey from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, one lesson would teach you how to program a Star Wars game, and the other lesson We'll teach you basic programming for R2-D2, uh, C-3PO, and, and of course, BB-8. Uh, uh, did, have you played with this at all, Lou? Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. In, in fact, what they're doing is the visual programming element of it is actually building code underneath. So if you want to go see the code that you're building, it's kind of cool. You can see it as, a, as you go through it. Right, and, and this, is, this is what it looks like. So you've got blocks. Uh, they've also got JavaScripts. You can use whichever one you like. It's, it's a nice way to teach logic. Uh, remember early on in Coding 101, one of the things that we really tried to impress upon people is we would be sp switching languages, but the language doesn't really matter. It's learning the, the logical items behind the language. Now, uh, actually, if you go ahead and go to my, my machine, uh, uh, Victor, I, I want to show what this looks like. So this, this is actually code.org. This is the, uh, the BB-8 programming as you see it. So what we have is we have a workspace with one method right now. It's calling the function move right. Uh, what I want to do is I want to move BB-8 over to the scrap metal. So if I just ran this right now, it's only got one move right command and the mission is going to fail. But what I can do is if I take one of these blocks and I tell it move right, move right, oh, move right, and then run it, BB-8 will succeed. He'll get the scrap metal. Now, this is obviously aimed at children, but what I like about this is it becomes so visual. This is a nice way to represent uh, the, the, the chain of logic. What would I do if I wanted to change something in the real world? So if I'm looking at this code right here, I'd want to move BB-8 to the right, to the right, then down, then down. And all I have to do is I drag over these blocks. Now, of course, this is super simplistic, but as you move on in the lessons, this will slowly get more and more complicated. It will start asking you to add parameters inside of functions, inside of calls. And uh, again, you know, anytime that you can give a child something that they can do over and over again to reinforce the lesson, it's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, Patrick, cool. uh, yeah. have you played with this at all? Yeah, I did. And uh, I moved BB-8 around, got the, <laughs> <laughs> had him collect the stuff. And I wish I had this as a kid. Right. Because I... Yeah loved programming and I always wanted to learn more and I remember there was a game by Origin Systems, I think it was called Omega, where you actually had to program an artificial intelligence tank and this reminds me a lot about that and I had to, you have to learn the code to have the task mm -hmm. complete mm -hmm. and they, it, it works it into a game and so it's fun and I, I sent the link to my niece who's 11 and hopefully she'll get into this and maybe she'll uh, be interested in coding. There's no horses, though, so. Right. I, I, think what's, I think what's cool about it, you can actually, once you're done with it, you can actually click the show me the code button. It'll actually show you the code. My son actually liked looking at it because he oh, actually, yeah. he actually. thought that he was uh, actually coding, right? And which you actually really are. Right? You're yeah. building logic trees, but you're, you know, you're actually, you know, there's code underneath going on there. So it's kind of uh, neat. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So we got to move uh, down, left, left, down, down, and left. And let's do this. Uh, so that we can uh, see the code after. Did I, did I do that right? Let's see. I think BB-8's about to die here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sir, messed up. Uh, he still, <laughs> still, still got there. <laughs> That's some sloppy coding yeah. there, But now if I show the code, you know, it, now they say, oh, okay, it wasn't just something I dragged and dropped. That's something I would actually have to type to call right. a function inside of BB-8 to make them do that, that, that actual thing. Yeah. And as you get further and further into these lessons, they'll show you more and more of the code that actually goes into the function. Right. It, it's actually, it's, you know, I wish, again, like you, yeah. I wish I had a programming class like this. Uh, the closest thing I can think of right now is uh, Little Bits, and uh, Brian Chi talked about this. I, mm. they're, they're a sponsor on this network, 
but I love playing with it because it teaches people how to use like the the triple five oscillator. Uh, yeah. And it's it's literally putting together blocks, but they're actually programming. Yeah, little bits is the uh, electrical engineering version of this. Right. Really, this yeah. is the computer science version. Go figure.